Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and welcome to December 1st. So, Today's video is a collaboration with my amazing friend, Julia, from Instagram. She is a makeup artist and most importantly, my friend. Her name is Julia's Galaxy Makeup on Instagram. Her Instagram will be linked down below. And both of us are doing a Christmas looks. So the only rules were red, green, and glitter. So that is what we're gonna create today and I'm so excited. She is such a talented makeup artist and she is such an amazing friend. I'm so lucky to have her in my life. And we've done one other uh, Instagram, YouTube crossover collab. So please go check out her Instagram, follow her and go take a look at the look that she created for this. So I cannot wait to see what she created. And I love her so, so much. Julia, thank you so much for doing this with me. So I went through my collection and I decided that I'm going to be working out of the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette, possibly the Dear Santa palette from uh, Kylie Cosmetics, and maybe using some glitter from the Tati Beauty palette, but I'm not sure yet. So we're definitely going to dive into the Be Perfect Carnival XL palette because there are some beautiful greens in this palette that I want to work with. So that's what we're going to do today. There was actually, that's what I was thinking about doing. Okay, I'll decide if I want to use something else, but um, I'm going to use my MAC paint stick for this look because I really want to amp up these colors but yeah Julia is such a talented makeup artist like I love every single one of her looks on Instagram I always look forward to you know seeing what she creates and she comes up with she has such an amazing talent for color placement and I just love it and she's gotten me um there's been so many things that I've purchased because I've seen her use them <laughs> And there's a few things that I definitely still want to get that she uses all the time, which she uses the Beauty Baby Bar or Beauty Bar Baby um, flakes. Her and my friend Andrea both do. And I definitely at some point want to purchase those. They're like glitter flakes and they're absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I'm always telling her hashtag Julia made me buy it. So, um, let's see. I'm going to go into... What brush do I want to start with? Um, I'll start with this Blush Tribe brush. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go into is a mixture of Ecstasy and Hype. So that would be this one and this one right here. And I'm going in mostly with the darker green. And yeah, I cannot wait to see what look she created. So, did you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving? I hope you did. I went to my friend Victoria's house and we had a wonderful dinner. Victoria is a wonderful cook and her parents were there, so I got to see them. I've known them since I was in high school, so that was really cool. And we had an amazing time. So, thank you, Victoria, for having us over if you are watching this. And I did not really partake in any Black Friday sales. Um, I did buy the Jeffree Star mystery box, so I hope that you guys are looking forward to seeing that. It was actually a early Christmas present from my mom because she and I had been talking and she was like, what, you know, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, I don't know. Um, and then I was like, you know, Jeffree Star is releasing a mystery box. And honestly, I was not going to originally get one until I saw that peppermint palette. Because you guys know that I absolutely positively love scented makeup. And 
he came out with for the deluxe box. It's a peppermint swirl or something like that highlighter palette with three different shades. And I don't know what they look like. I'm going to go in with the shade Nuke now, which is this darker green shade. And um, I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, and, it, and then when it said that it was scented like peppermint candy, I was like, um, yes, I need that. And then he also came out with three highlighters, like a new formula, which I knew that I wanted because until I saw the price. <laughs> uh, but though I got those as well uh, as a bundle for um, same thing, Christmas present, early Christmas present. So, um, but I knew I wanted them because I love glittery highlights. I know some people don't like glittery highlights, but I definitely do. And I love his Supreme Frost formula way more than I like his other formula. And um, so I knew that that I really, really wanted that. And when I saw that it was even more sparkly than any of his other, you know, formulas, I was like, oh, I definitely, definitely want it. So now I'm going to go in with the ecstasy shade, which is that light lime green. And I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. And we are going to have some sparkle in this look, so don't worry. Ooh, that is green. That is green. So this is going to be obviously my first Christmas look for Pinkmas. Oh, I should have said welcome to Pinkmas, right? Welcome to Pinkmas. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do Pinkmas because I don't want to do only Christmas looks all, you know, months long, but I will be doing a lot of them. All right, so now I'm going to take a new product, which I just got, and that is, it's called Stage Dive, and it is a glitter liner from Urban Decay, and we're going to look at that. Oh, as soon as I saw this, this was in that bundle I was telling you guys about, where, um, I had a little bit, it was, I got this, I got a glitter gel and then I also got an eyeliner from Urban Decay so I'm just gonna put that right in the crease as a line and then I am also gonna put some glitter on the lid but we're gonna do that after I do my face makeup and I'm gonna do my face makeup off camera but I love these Urban Decay glitter liners is probably one of my favorite ways to apply glitter and I just think it's really cool to put like a little glitter line in the crease it just adds an extra pop and for me especially during the holidays I like a lot of sparkle I actually wore the Tati Beauty palette for Thanksgiving that's what I ended up wearing instead of the original look that I had planned and oh my gosh I'm so glad that I did I'm gonna be recreating that look at some point okay so I just basically did a line so let me go off camera do my base makeup and I'll be right back okay so I am back so we are gonna do our lower lash line so I'm gonna take a thin little brush and actually, I don't think I need to go into the um, Kylie palette because I did not realize that this palette actually has some pretty decent reds. I may still go into it for some sparkle, some red sparkle, but, and the reason why I decided to do the green on the upper and then the red on the lower is because obviously you cannot really blend green and red together so unless you're going to do a full-on cut crease um it's kind of hard to do so I think let me see let's see this dear Santa palette and let's um I'm going to try to take some of this sparkle and spray it a little bit 
Actually, I'll spray it with this. This is a very chunky formula, but that was a little too much spray. Okay. I'm just going to take the sparkly shade and put it at the front. I don't know that on camera you'll be able to tell a big difference, but it's just going to make the front of it be a little bit more metallic. Well, actually, with the second coat, you can tell, I think, a little bit. I should have put powder under my eyes. Okay, I like the way that looks in person at least. And then what I want to do for my lid is I want to go into a glitter from the Tati Beauty palette, which is from the Aura line, the Aura section. And that is this one right here. And the reason why is because it has red and green micro sparkle i don't know how well it picks up on camera but it also has gold in it which gold and silver remind me of christmas as well so i'm just tapping that on just to give it that extra like glitter effect i love it so much and I also kind of wanted to see how the Tati Beauty glitters worked over top of other eyeshadows. I actually, like I said, I wore that palette for Thanksgiving and my makeup lasted all day. I did not have a single glitter fleck on my face. I did use glitter glue underneath of it when I was planning to wear it all day, but... Um, and I think that that's like the key is that if you're, I mean, you don't have to use glitter glue, but if you definitely want it to stay in place and not go anywhere like all day and not end up on your face at all, then you can just add a little tiny bit of glitter glue underneath, but you definitely don't have to. I personally have never had an issue with that glitter falling on my face, whether I use glitter glue or not, but just because I knew I was going to be wearing it for a really long time. That's why I decided to do it. So I think this is a really cute Christmas look. Okay, and we're going to go in with a classic red lip. So I pulled this back out of my lip jar because this is the perfect red, in my opinion, for this. And I didn't have another one. That was this exact shade. And that is part of our rule. is we can pull it out if we don't have another thing like it. I have other reds, just not this tone of red. And I think this tone of red will look the best with this green. Okay. And then I think I might put just a little bit of that sparkle on the center of my lips as well. So I'm just taking a tiny bit and just hitting the very center. I'm going to use a different finger for the top lip because I don't want to get like a lipstick in my glitter. Okay. All right, so this is my finished look. Let me just spray my face. I literally cannot wait to see what Julia does. I'm curious to see if we're going to do something similar, only because, you know, it's red and green and glitter. So <laughs> it's a possibility. But, um, and we have often have the same taste in makeup looks. So I think that would be fun. But um, I think I want just a little bit more blush. I used my Simpsons MAC pink sprinkles shade because this was in my most recent shot my stash so I think I said this in another video but I try to use the um products from my shot my stash more than once just so that I'm not only using it for that one video and it's actually getting some use for the week and then 
yeah. All right, so that is my finished look. Let me know what you guys think down below and let me know what kind of Christmas looks you would like to see and what kind of Christmas looks you guys like to wear. Please go check out Julia on Instagram. Like I said, all of her information will be linked down below. She is such an amazing makeup artist. You guys are going to love her. And she always puts in her posts what she has on her eyes as well as photos of her uh, I look so it's amazing. So thank you, Julia, so much for doing another collaboration with me. And I already can't wait for our next one. I love you guys so, so much. And I look forward to pinkness. So I hope you guys do too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.